This is uh, Jeremy at the Butcher's Block. I'm here, uh, we're gonna break down a Demcoda XT Claude. First, we're gonna have the top blade. I'm gonna separate that. We'll show you how to break that down. Then I'm gonna have the, the short Claude. And then we're gonna also do just the Claude heart. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started on that. First thing is to remove this, uh, uh, the top blade here. So kind of what I'm gonna do is just with the tip of my knife, I'm gonna come in here and follow this seam so we can get it nice and clean, as least waste as possible. And you'll know when you're getting it because it really, it, it does want to, to separate at these natural seams, you know? So just with the tip of your knife and, you know, pulling with your other hand, you can get it pretty clean. Once you have that separated, then we can just come in, take the whole thing off so that we also get that fat cap on, um, which is how you're gonna see it when it comes to you. But that is your top blade there. there. Um, now this this would be your, uh, your short clod. Um, you got a couple extra muscles on here that you wouldn't see on just the clod heart. But that's, you know, that's, that's how that's gonna show up to you. So we'll kind of start taking some of these off, some of these extra muscles off, and then we can uh, get to the, um, to the, just the clawed heart. Seam out all of these, um, all of these muscles here that distinguish it from the short clawed. Um, if this is what you're bringing in, again, this makes awesome stew. Um, definitely cheaper than the chuck, um, but it does make a wonderful stew. And then again, we're just kind of gonna start seaming out all of these arm muscles here. And you don't have to make stew out of these extra muscles too. Um, I mean, they actually, uh, cube steak, most people like to use the, uh, the round cuts, which is fine, I do it too, but these make probably the best cube steak I've ever had in my entire life. And again, when I do this too, I like to seam everything out. Um, it makes it easier to process, you know, further on. Um, I mean, if you are just gonna throw it into the grinds, which is also fine, this is a great grinding cut. It's got, um, it's got a ton of lean on it, you know, something you could mix a little bit of fat with, and um, and it comes out great. But this is this definitely does make a wonderful grind as well. So a couple, a lot of different things you can do with this. So I've separated those muscles now. This is what you're left with, which is your clawed heart. Now we can start uh, making some nice roasts. This is, you know, fairly, fairly uh, simple. Really, all I'm gonna do is peel uh, some of this silver skin off. And again, you know, try and get it really, really clean if you can. Um, you know, the less waste, the better. So we got the silver skin off, then we'll flip it around. I'm just gonna feel for any heavy fat just to give it a little haircut because you know you don't want too much on there. You do want a fat cap for sure, but you don't you don't want it to be, you know, an inch thick or something like that. You know, you want it to be a good half inch or, or less. That's typically what your customers are gonna buy. So we'll do that. And then the only other thing I'll do is you got this uh, really thick uh, vein of gristle in here and um, and it as you go down the muscle, it, it tapers out and it really does cook down. But up here, this is so thick, it really doesn't cook very well. So I, what I'll do is just kind of get my knife in here just a little bit. And again, I'm gonna follow that seam just a little bit. And then I'll come in on the other side. And I'm just gonna take this whole little, this really, really thick part and take that out just because it makes a nicer roast, nicer for your customer, um, which is really what we're in business for. There we go. And now we have that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up. So tying these isn't super necessary as far as cooking goes, because this is a pot roast. Um, a lot of people will sell it as an English cut pot roast. Um, so really, it's just gonna shred, which is kind of what you want. Um, so tying doesn't really make much of a difference as far as cooking goes, 
but it definitely does, um, in my opinion, make it look a lot more presentable and a lot more attractive in your counter. And then we can cut roast, we'll take a face. Again, that won't go to waste. You can use that for stew, for a cube steak, anything like that. Do it again to this back side here. We'll get, uh, we'll get a small roast here. And then two more. Get some nice roast there. First thing we want to do is uh, I'm going to seam out just a little bit of this this guy here, just so we can really expose that silver skin that we need to that we need to clean up. We got that guy off. Then we're just going to come in, and there there's a connective tissue and silver skin all the way around this. Underneath this fat cap, uh, there's a there is a thick layer of silver skin, so that all needs to come off uh, to get our flat irons. So I'll just kind of come in at the side. And now I can start peeling this off. Now we got all of our um, silver skin off of the outside. Next thing we're gonna do is there's this really big um, tendon that runs right in the middle of this. Um, you know, back way back when, a lot of people would just take this and they would just do cross-cut steaks about an inch or so thick, and you call that a chicken steak. Um, really not the best way to eat these because again, that that uh, that tendon that runs through is just so 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 tough. So. Uh, we're gonna take that out and get some flat irons. So kind of what I like to do is, I'll just make a little tiny cut right up here, take a little bit of that meat out. I'll do that on both sides. Um, and I do that just so I can, just so I have something to hold on to. Cause this is really very similar to um, peeling the silver skin off of say a tenderloin or something. So you, I'm just gonna grab that taut and slowly, following that with my knife. That's one flat iron off the top blade. And we'll just do the same thing to the other side. And then, the only thing, other thing I'll do on these is uh, you got this uh, this vein that runs right underneath that, and I like to take that out because that's not super pleasant to eat. So I just, with the tip of my knife, just kind of come up under it, shave a little bit of that off, and come down here, take just a little bit of that out too, and then we'll just double check, make sure that we got all of the silver skin out. We did pretty good. And there you have two flat iron steaks.